Chapter 5 Writings on the Wall Signs You Need Digital Detox In this video, we'll learn about writings on the wall, signs you need digital detox. You may need to visit a professional to discover that you need a digital detox. However, you can know by being observant and objective. This chapter explores the ominous signs that show you need a digital detox. Not holding a phone makes you anxious. Once you start using a phone, it becomes difficult to imagine not using one. Meanwhile, you had a life when you never had one. You were happy and lived a fulfilling life when you did not possess a phone. Indeed, having access to a digital device can make life easier. It has countless benefits, such as access to quality and timely information, and instant contact with your loved ones. Nonetheless, it isn't true that you cannot be happy without your digital device. It is a severe issue if you realize that you're anxious whenever you're not holding your phone. You should also not see it as normal if you're feeling like the world is crashing when your phone is switched off. You need to stay off your devices for a while to realize that you can be happy without them. Deliberately leave your phone behind or switch it off when you're with your friends or family members. It makes them feel special and loved when you do it in front of them. Likes, comments, and reshare mean the world to you. We all feel valued when people make positive remarks about us. Social media platforms make it easy to get pleasant comments from various people around the world. It can also be in the form of likes and reshares. Naturally, people liking your posts or resharing them improves your mood. Nonetheless, you need to be careful about the value you place on such gestures. Life isn't always the way you want it. There will be days when you'll make mistakes and can be a victim of cyberbullying. You'll be surprised to find out the same people praising you will be the first to criticize you. In the words of Lecrae, if you live for people's acceptance, you'll die from their rejection. You need to prepare your mind for the days when people will criticize you. Many people on social media are fair-weather friends. They will pounce on your flaws and make you feel worthless during difficult moments. Therefore, your sense of value must come from within. If you discover that likes and positive comments can ruin your day, you need to disconnect for some time. You're so scared you'll miss something if you stop checking your phone. You'll miss so many things when you're not using your phone. In most cases, you may need to play catch-up to be up-to-date again. It is good to be conversant with events across the globe. Besides, it is a sign of smartness when you're versatile across various spheres of life. However, it is a problem when you're anxious because you feel you're missing out on happenings around the world. You should be able to go a day without checking your social media accounts. Nonetheless, when you feel like a fish out of water because you're not checking your phone, you need to act fast. The quality of your life shouldn't depend on you checking your phone you should be able to have hobbies you enjoy. There should be other activities in your life that can make you engrossed without thinking about happenings in the digital world. If you don't have activities like this, you need to limit technology device use. You usually stay late or wake early to use your phone. As mentioned earlier, technology use can affect your sleep quality. It can also have adverse effects on your sleep quantity. There are many reasons you stay late or wake too early. For example, if you're anxious about your performance in a task the following day, you may not sleep early. An unsettled mind will keep you awake. If you're not sleeping well because you're anxious and stressed, you may need to consider practicing mindfulness. However, if the reason you're not getting enough sleep is that you're using your phone, you need digital detox. You should avoid keeping late nights chatting or reading posts. If you're struggling to do this, you need to disconnect from the digital world for a while. It is critical to tell yourself that you're in charge. 
When you cannot control your technology device use, you've lost control. You need to seize control again by living without them for a while. You've attention issues because you often check your phone. Whatever takes away your focus has wrested control from you. According to George Lucas, always remember your focus determines your reality. Indeed, many things in your life can affect your attention span. You may be struggling to cope with job demands because you have marital issues. Financial challenges such as paying your bills can also affect your focus. However, you need digital detox if you find it challenging to focus as a student or employee because of digital devices. If you're fond of always checking your phone, it will affect your attention and this will be detrimental to your progress and performance. One of the studies that have been evaluated show that technology device use increases ADHD symptoms. You check your phone every few minutes. Your journey to liberation begins with self-evaluation. Notice how many times you check your phone within 15 minutes. Of course, there might be situations that warrant checking your phone constantly. For example, a friend or colleague may promise to send you a text you need to respond to urgently. However, it is an issue when you check your phone randomly to avoid missing out on new updates. You're not happy because of the time you spend on social media. In some cases, the people around you can tell you that you're spending too much time on your phone. Their view may be objective or not. Nonetheless, your activity on social media can be excessive such that you'll be unhappy with yourself. You'll feel stressed and depressed because you feel like you're losing control. When you get to that point in your life, you need digital detox. Holidays aren't an excuse to spend most parts of your day in the digital world. You can use these periods to read books, play sports, or engage in a hobby. Visiting old friends or going out with your family is also an excellent choice. Besides, you can spend those periods acquiring new skills or developing yourself. You can also exercise more when you're less busy, rather than just waste your time playing games or visiting social media sites. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.